Now you're actually going to be utilizing more of the unilateral extension or activation point of your core. Okay, we're going to show this without weight and then eventually going to add weight. Okay, so the original one was here where I had to squeeze a ball and we were working on rotation trying to keep the shoulder blades down. This time, instead of working together, you're going to work one side at a time. And this is where you start learning how to properly rotate to your core first and foremost, okay? Now, if you're doing it incorrectly, what's going to happen is when you go to move, you're going to move your extremities first. Specifically, you usually move the hip first. And this is easy. This is not really doing anything. If I just yeah. do this, I'm not really doing that extension, and I'll get in the habit of still overarching my back. You have to be intentional about driving the shoulder up and over first, okay? Or your torso, not so much the shoulder, okay? Keeping that shoulder really packed down is probably a little more important here. Work on initializing that movement to your core, and then you're gonna to try to match that extension. This is really gonna open up that spiral line, okay? If I'm moving extremely well, this shoulder girdle should be on the ground almost in front of me. From this position now, I would turn the side crunch, and I'm gonna return all that process back. So remember, initializing through the core first, then connect that movement. Okay? So this is coming off the front fascia line? Exactly, well, you can say the front side and back fascia line. It's just gonna unlock some tightness really, and teach you the proper process of creating or initializing a rotation, okay? Yeah. Okay, now you need clearance for that arm, exactly. Keep lifting the torso more so then allowing the knee to come through, keep going. Arm will keep staying in that retracted position and you try to drive the shoulders over more. Keep driving those shoulders over, keep driving those shoulders over, keep driving those shoulders over. You can now allow the knee to come with you Oh, and that arm's got to stay up towards the ceiling, my friend. Good. Then I would do a side crunch from there and reset. Cool? It feels so.